What is going on guys? It is 19 gender and welcome back to a new video. And this one, um, this is gonna be my first commentary back. Uh, I just keep making mad excuses. I I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm I'm sorry. I'm gonna upload whenever I actually feel like it. I don't know why I haven't. I've just been playing a crap ton of Rainbow Six. That's why how I've gotten those many clips in the last video. But other than that, some stuff is about to start changing so in about a month i'm competing in an r6 tournament it's just it's not like an official esl one it's just with a couple of people that i've met on ins on instagram like those rainbow six update pages and so yeah i have about half of my team i would say ready and it's just for fun no way in form am i thinking that i'm actually gonna win you know i'm just glad to actually be uh competing in a game that i actually love playing daily 10 hours a day <sighs> it's kind of funny to say 10 hours a day like i'd actually play something like that like for that long but believe it or not that's actually how much i like it but the real topic i wanted to uh, talk about in this video is the one the kid that you see in the video right here it was my good friend gabriel or mary's meerkat he he's actually in the party right now while i'm recording you can't hear him because i'm in game chat for this but me and him we are actually game sharing and we're actually going to get PUBG once it comes out for Xbox One. And I wanted to talk about that. Is So we're going to pre-order it. And it's coming out on the 12th. <clears throat> and I just wanted to talk about some of the updates that are going to be coming towards the game. <laughs> so I have an article right here. And let me just read out some of the key points. And I'll talk about them from there. <sighs> um, one thing that it says specifically noting here is that the PC and the Xbox One the PC and the Xbox One versions are gonna they're gonna start off at the same road and then they're gonna split so I'm th pretty sure if this is a reliable source which I'm, sh I'm gonna hope it is if not then this video is a complete joke I'm gonna go ahead and <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna go ahead and assume that means that Xbox may have different features that the PC doesn't so I doubt it's gonna have something as huge as maps, maybe attachments, w weapons, or armor. That's what I'm gonna go ahead and assume, and that you know, vice versa. That's also gonna mean that PC is gonna have something that Xbox isn't. So now I'm actually thinking that PC is a much bigger platform, but then I doubt it. I doubt Xbox is ever gonna be able to reach the amount of players that it has on Steam. Also, this interview says it ha not interview article says it has over two million daily players. Xbox isn't gonna be able to scratch the surface of that, dude. That's gonna be extremely, like an extremely high player amount. So, if that were to happen, then possibly they might keep it go, make it uh, follow the same route. But I doubt it. But let's get back to it. PC is going to have different things, like I just said, so, you know, them being the more player count, quote-unquote, from here, which I totally believe, not disagreeing with it, I'm going to go ahead and assume they might have bigger changes. I may be wrong on this, but I'm going to go ahead and assume they might have different maps, which I already know the desert map, I believe it is. I've been doing my research on it. I think it's called the desert map. PC is going to get that and console isn't and i'm not sure if console is going to get that anytime soon i know there's been leaks about it but then again you know those are just some reddit things that i've seen i doubt if they're gonna it's gonna get it anytime soon and that is also considering that the xbox PUBG is also still going to be in its game preview form oh quote unquote open beta i guess you could say so that being that i doubt they're gonna add you know anything that the PC has they're gonna just start off with the base form and then they might try out some new things so if they were to add new maps I wanna say it might be not something that the PC has then again following the same route uh, like they said going different uh, directions so that's that and another thing that I want to talk about is this is kind of away from PUBG about the pre-ordering thing about that, I believe we're going to get some free cosmetics. Or I'm not sure if those are in-game uh, transactions. Which at this point, I would 
don't want to buy it, uh, I if it no, I do want to buy PUBG. Let me rephrase that. But if it is in-game transactions, I kind of do, kind of don't want to buy it. Th like then again, it's in-game transactions. There should be like a way that we could just work for it. But then again, you gotta take into the price. It's only gonna be twenty-nine ninety-nine quote as long as it's the game preview until they drop the full game. Like, let me give an example. Uh, what's a game that happened like that? Ark Survival Evolved. While it was in its game preview form, and we all know how that was pushed back a lot, I believe. Um, yeah, I believe it was pushed back a couple times. And that used to be $29.99, I believe, or $39. Pretty sure it was $29. And then once the game, the full game came out, it was $59.99. So that's why people should go ahead and take advantage of it being a game preview. I mean, it's thirty dollars. You could work that off, and but then th that's also kind of bringing it to where it's only going to be digital at the moment. So if people don't like it, they really don't have like an option to return it to like their GameStop or their uh, place where they bought it. All right, but that's getting off topic. All right, so another thing is, let me look through the article. Um, okay, here it says, uh, we can use it like a Steam Early Access where we can develop on console with a community, and that's going to be really essential in our view for uh, a really great version on console. Uh, created, uh, whatever. Alright, so, what I think, let me re, let me reread read that, uh, yeah, like I said, how it's going to be in the grain preview form, meaning, uh, they're gonna try to put in some new stuff in the game preview and if the and if the buyers or the players on PUBG on the console like it then they might uh, keep it they might add it I mean delete it but I, I'm do not think if we actually like it that they're gonna delete it but that also means that uh, we're also straying farther and farther away from the way that the PC PC goes and I know that's kind of a weird topic, but I've seen some comments saying they want it exactly like PUBG I mean exactly like the PC version Which I guess that's kind of already stated that it's not gonna be like that for long or at all Because like I said again, I'm sorry for keep saying this, but we're gonna keep taking different routes on it PUBG on Xbox is gonna go this way and PC is gonna go that way so You know, I'm not sure that's really gonna happen It's kind of the same version um, not the same version, the same way that PC, um, has, uh, what's it called? Uh, to, how do I, uh, to drag I items over. People, I, I don't know how to explain it well, but hopefully you guys know what I mean. So, people don't want to have it where, like, Minecraft was originally at first, or... No, no, they want it like how it is now, I believe is how it is, where you could drag things over. That's what they don't want for PUBG. Especially a lot of the uh, PC players, they're kind of going to cringe at that. But, you know, it's kind of a 70-30 chance. Not a 70-30 chance, like opinion-wise. Because some people want it this way, other people want it that way. But what I think to solve that situation is... In Minecraft, uh, the, the I believe better together update it now has um you are now able to play with a mouse and keyboard which i do i just personally whenever i end up doing playing pvp on it i personally just can't play like right with the controller so what i think they should do is implement a thing just like how minecraft did to where you can play with a mouse and keyboard onto pubg think about how close to home that would be for the pc players but then that all would also bring a good mechanism to the game. So, you know, a lot of the stuff I said I probably explained wrong. Or people who are actually, not actually informed, but people who can correct me. Please correct me in the comments below. I don't want to sound like a total fool. But, um, I've done a couple of my researches on the articles. And hopefully what I said was right. If they're not and I misread or miss explained something wrong, please explain to me in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and goodbye. Peace.